So this is um, the next morning. She's been here, I guess about 15 hours. Um, and I've got one of my older dogs out there on the other side, um, just to give her, not take away a feeling of isolation, I guess. Um, but you can see her tail is still really tucked. Still has erection, which is the hackles raised. Um, and she's got a slight tremble. You can probably see it in the back uh, legs. And I was able to put a uh, slip martingale on her because uh, she was in foster for a day and she did escape her regular collar. So we're taking more precautionary measures. Um, I'm using a tie out lead that she can't chew through as you can see it's it's a wire these are not my favorite i really don't like using them but again it's the safest option for her right now because she is such a flight risk and i've attached it to another uh, no chew leash that's attached to the chair i'm sitting in um, because that's going to be a lot of what i do is just sitting near her so she can just kind of get used to uh, being in proximity to me my mannerisms my voice uh, oh, <laughs> a little stressy on there. Um, we did have a bad storm yesterday, but she seemed to do okay with that, so that's good. Um, but as you can see, she's completely shut down. She's avoiding um, me and it, the environment, really. Um, she's got two things of water right there. There's plenty of room for her to move around and potty if she needs to. And I can always move my chair. Well, that's good. She's moving a little bit. But anyways, this is her morning um, break. And uh, she did eat her dinner, which is great. So we'll follow up a little bit later today with Miss Icy.